baby. We thank God for being here today. We thank God for our many blessings. Thank God for watching over us, for keeping us uh, through everything that's going on. We thank God that we are still here. And we are still in prayer for the ones that's going through. We pray, Almighty God, that um, they recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm open up with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We glorify you, Lord. We lift you up. We pray, Almighty God, for the people that is in the hospital yes, here at Fairview Park, Lord God. We pray in healing upon yes, everyone that's in that hospital. Yes, and we pray, Almighty God, that the the, uh, the cases uh, drop, that they don't increase. And, Lord, we pray this in Jesus' name. Yes, we pray for uh, TV 35. We yes, pray a blessing upon it. And, Lord God, we pray for this show that it can be able to continue to run. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So today we're going to be talking about prayer. Continuation from our last show. We're talking about prayer. Amen. And we have a few scriptures that we want to uh, expound on. Okay. And the first one is uh, Psalms 141. It talks about, you know, prayer for help. When you're going through times of temptation, through times of uh, criticism, just through times of uh, trouble. And let you know that God uh, will speak through others to bless and help you. So just like we're going through this pandemic, and sometimes people are tempted to uh, go outside without a mask, or tempted wow. to do things that could cause themselves harm, or they might That's go right. back. So you know, we continue to pray that we use wisdom in whatever we do. So. We don't, we don't understand what's going on. We look to God. So one way we can look to God is to go through to him in prayer. And you go into the scriptures, and you read the scriptures, and begin to read, you'll find places where uh, it fits your situation. And you can begin to pray those prayers. That's right. To bless you and help you out. Amen. 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 So that, that's good. And when you are feeling a certain way, you know, it's always songs in the Bible that you can go to you know, um, to help you with your situation. Amen. Hey man, that was Psalm what? 141. 141. And we continue on. Psalm 142 also is a song of prayer for when we're overwhelmed. And many people now are overwhelmed. You know, they don't, uh, some are out of a job. Uh, some don't really know which way to go. They're overwhelmed. But the one who has the answer to every problem is our God. Amen. And the way that we can connect with him is through prayer, faith, that he would do what he say he would do. Amen. So I'm going to invite you to go to these uh, Psalms. Write them these down. Scriptures. Yes, write them down. Psalms 141 and Psalms 142. Amen. Amen. So, um, excuse me. Did you write the song down? No, it's your thing. Oh, praise the Lord. Well, I don't understand your theme. <laughs> he wrote this down, amen. And he writes so little. But um, I guess we have different uh, prescriptions in our glasses. I write big, he writes small. So what that tell y'all? Amen. But um, we want to just encourage everybody to pray. Stay in prayer. Pray. Pray for your kinfolk. Pray for your children. I mean, just keep everybody covered in prayer. If you even come in contact with someone, just lay hands and pray. Because we all have the power of prayer. Amen. Because God said the power, even the power of life and death is in the tongue. Right. So we can speak life upon people. And we can we, we don't really have to touch it. Just speak it. Amen. Amen. And the good thing to do right now in this season is trust God and believe his word. Everything that his word is say. Um, everything the Bible instructs you to do, do. Uh, every law in the Bible, follow it. Uh, just stay before God. Amen. And and like when you see the numbers uh, on the news and they tell you, because they speaking this, remember this. Right. Remember they speaking this out their tongue, uh, out their mouth. And the power of life and death is in the tongue. Right. So when they Amen. speaking, uh, next week we're going to have these many cases. And it's been predicted that we'll have this and we'll have that. They're speaking that. So what we should do is God people get together and speak and rebuke it when we see it. Don't be like, oh my God, they said next week we're going to have these many cases and by the end of the month, you don't supposed to receive that. You begin to speak out your mouth that by this time next month, we won't have any more cases. 
Uh, the just rebuke it in the name of name Jesus. Jesus. I speak in the atmosphere right now that these cases will fall, that they will begin to go down. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And just keep speaking. Just like they keep speaking and keep showing it to you and feeding it in your spirit, you keep speaking Amen. that they shall go away, that the cases shall drop. Because in, And when you speak it, know that you have the power to speak it and to call things uh, the way they should be. Amen. 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 You know, uh, you're a child of God. You know, you have the power to speak those things into existence. All right. Because God is always looking at us. He's always there for us. We're never alone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel uh, kind of out there during this time. Yeah. But don't worry about it. God has everything under That's control. Right. No matter what they say on the news, no matter what you hear, God is in control. And that's who we depend on. That's who we look to. So even when sometimes you know, we're human. Sometimes we might get a little fearful. Sometimes we might doubt. But hey, put those thoughts behind you and look to the Word. Look to God right. and know that He's always a help of His people. Woo! He will never, never let us down. Amen. 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 That's Amen. my saying on when I be on Facebook, give him the Word, stay in the face of God. Amen. He is a keeper of His people. Amen. Amen. And He will help. Amen. Amen. Now is the time to really talk to God. You know, uh, bring it to his, uh, he remember everything, but still sometimes he'd like for us to uh, bring it to his remembrance and, and to let him know that we know this word, that we bringing it back to him. You know, we, we testify of the word and we are, are believing the word so we can bring that word to God and we can say, God, your word said this and your word said that and I'm believing and trusting in you, God, to do these things. I know that you are God. I know Amen. that you are almighty God and you are able to do it right. because your word said you can do it Amen. and your word told me that I'm able to speak That's things right. and uh, and they come to pass. Hallelujah. Your word said that I can decree and I can cook. Declare and it shall be done. Amen. And your word said, see, and God would say, My God, this child know she she remember what I said. Or uh, they know and they believe that if this word said it, it will be done. Amen. 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 You know, before we even speak it, God hears it. He already know what we're gonna say. That's right. So we can throw all our prayers, all our all our weight on him, and he's there, he's able to bear it. So even during this time or any time in life, we can trust in God and lean on Him and know that God is always able to carry Amen. us through. He's in control. No matter Amen. what it looks like, God is in control. That's it. And we have to believe, trust, and depend on Him. Amen. Our faith is in God and not man. Man says one thing, God says another. So who are we going to trust? God. God. Amen. God. Amen. And, and I was watching uh, the movie Harriet. Yeah. And you know, people always wonder well, how, did, how does she keep going back? How does she keep going back? But if you look at that movie, see, I get something out of every movie I watch. If you look at that movie and you see how close she was to God, how she spoke to God, and, and sometimes God will have to lay her out, you know, they say seizures or whatever, but He will uh, give her visions and let her see, you know, which way to go, what to do. Uh, and this is real. This is no uh, fiction. This is what she really went through yeah. and how she really spoke to God. And when she asked God to help her do this, help me to cross this river, this, that, and the other. But she, her relationship was, with God was so strong, like she was actually talking to somebody standing right before her. And that's the way we should be. Talk to God like he's standing right before you. Amen. Jeremiah 33 and 2 says, Our Lord... O oh Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning. Every our morning. salvation in times of distress. At the thunder of your voice, you think about God speaking. At the thunder of your voice, your people flee. When you rise up, the nations scatter. God is able. There is no nation, no nation or country or nothing that can stand without God. And sometimes we look at the news and they say all these different things. And I sometimes wonder how uh, it seems like the country's divided. Mm -hmm. But if we're divided, we cannot stand. You think about it. So people of God everywhere need to be in prayer for our nation. That's right. For our president, for the leadership of this country, that they might open their eyes and see and start depending on their own, own feelings, their That's own right. thinking, and trust in God to lead us and guide us. Uh, I sometimes wonder why they haven't addressed the nation 
uh, to pray. To pray. Get on the news and address the whole entire nation to you pray. You have to. So that's what we need to do. We need to pray. Those that we know, uh, we need to tell them to pray. We need to ask them to pray. We need to tell our church family, pray. I mean, constantly, every day, pray. Pray for our nation. Pray for our leaders. Let's see. Amen. We must pray that the people in the White House, yeah. uh, all people in the White House, yeah. must be connected to God. Amen. Because if they was connected to God the way they should, and if they weren't about different religion and all that, guess what? Still one God. You don't have to call out the religion. You don't have to uh, defend anybody, uh, offend anybody else. Just call the nation to pray, Amen. to pray, and and they must be connected to God first in the White House in order to even address the nation Amen. to pray. Amen. Sweet. So that's what we need to pray for. We need to pray that they uh, become closer to God. That they begin to pray. Um, everybody in the White House should be fasting. Um, one thing. I do know this country was built um, of two people, two, 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 two types of people. Amen. So together we stand, divided Amen. we fall. Amen. Now if we start dividing and fussing amongst each other and, and all this and that, we're going to fall. But together, together, and God is trying to bring everybody together. Amen. Together we will stand and we uh, stop uh uh, all this fussing and, and become a, uh, you know, just unite together. Yes. We'll stand. We'll fight this. Amen. And God will give us favor and he will remove this thing. He will give us favor in America. Hallelujah. Instead of judgment. So you need to choose which Amen. one you want. And, and just like the Bible say, choose today who you gonna serve. Amen. Amen. That goes for everybody. Everybody. Just because you're in a certain position don't mean it don't go for you. Amen. It goes for everybody. So let's pray. Let's pray and pray the right way and pray for the right things. Don't pray envious things. Don't pray separation upon the world because God knows we have enough of that. Amen. Amen. In Psalms 143 verses 1, O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. God will come to relief of our nation. He will come to relief of our home. If you right. have somebody in the hospital that has this COVID, God is able to heal them. He's able to bring them out of there. And he's God able to take them and keep them. I have a friend in Atlanta right now that's, that's going through him, his wife, uh, his, uh, I think, mother-in-law, father-in-law, and they'll deal with that thing. And I'm trusting and believing God trusting is going to bring them out of that Hallelujah situation. Jesus. I know that he is. Yes, and that's God. how we have to believe. We have to yes, know God. that he will do it. Yes, God, God. what it look like, Hallelujah. trust God that he will do. We pray. We Hallelujah. stand that word. We pray. Yes, God. We pray for one another. You, we God. lift one another up. We encourage one another. That's right. And we listen to one another. And we point the finger straight to God, knowing that he's able. Amen. 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 And we don't accept nothing. nothing. Nothing less. Nothing less. Nothing less than God's word. When you start accepting uh, other things and expecting things that, that only God can do, be done by man, it's not going to happen. And, and now I understand whose report will you believe. Amen. 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 It's all in your belief and your faith. Amen. Who report will you believe? Amen. All of us can cry to God. Pray. Cry to God. He is our refuge. It says so in his word. He is our portion. He is everything that we everything. need to survive this whole entire life. When we lead this life we we'll know that absent from the body, present with the Lord. So we trust in him day by day. And he has the one that has the counter to our life. Yes. He knows the end day for us. Yes. We don't have to worry about that. We just live our life day by day for him. For him, sharing the gospel, praying for one another. You know, uh, when I look at uh, some of the situation that's going on and how... Uh, our nation, we're, we're selfish and hard-headed people, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, big time, man. A lot of things happen because of our disobedience, because of our selfishness. So uh, we have to put the whole thing aside and become one, one nation, under God, so they say. But we don't, we don't even live that way. That's right. How can you fuss over something that's not yours? Amen. Your body, your race, yes. your color, all that belong to God. Amen. He created that. That's his. Amen. 
So how can you feel like you can control it? Hallelujah. So we need to pray. And God waiting on us to come together. He waiting. Because he said the greatest of all the commandments was love. Love, yes. thy neighbor. Love is the greatest. So he waiting on us to grab a hope to that. Amen. Amen. And begin to love one another. And, and 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 you'll see the power of God. But see, a lot of people are not going to get it until it hit home, until it hit their household. And then they want to say, well, God, what did I do? Amen. But are you loving your neighbor? Are you doing for your people who need? Are you taking care of the elders? Are you praying for one another? Are you not judging each other? Right. Amen. And how selfish are you? You know, he want us to give up some things. So let's give up our our little hangups we have and just begin to pray. You see people on the street, uh, sometimes just say, hey, do you want to pray? Or are you praying for the nation? Or we, we must uh, come together and pray. That's the best protest to me. <laughs> That's what you need to be doing in the street right now. Right. Tearing down some walls, some, right. some spiritual walls. Amen. Leave that material stuff alone and start tearing down those spiritual walls and burning up them evil things and demons. Hallelujah. With the fire of the Holy Ghost, then we protest and when we're praying, that's exactly what we're doing. We're praying against the spirit. That's right. We're not praying about the flesh. Because the thing that's going on is a battle of the spirit. There's a strong man over the United States, all these countries, that's trying to bind us up, split us up. So we have to pray to God that he release the power of his angels everywhere to tear these things down. That's right. And that he fill us with his Holy Spirit to walk in a way that will encourage others, not only just to pray, but to live a life that's pleasing to God. So sometimes uh, we just... Hey, we need help ourselves. That's right. Sometimes we need help ourselves. We have to really encourage one another. That's right. And look to God because it is a spiritual battle. It's not the flesh. It's a spiritual battle. Spiritual. And we have to look beyond the flesh. Coronavirus is, is, is spiritual warfare. And what gives it power is fear. Amen. Uh, Want to just lay down, uh, not getting up and fighting it. And through prayer, through word, and through all your might. Amen. Amen. Can y'all imagine this? Okay, God assigned angels to fight with us. But they are waiting on us to step out to fight this battle. Amen. Amen. In the spirit. So they just standing there with their swords, just waiting, just waiting, just waiting for you to move in prayer. Uh, in worship, uh, in in uh, binding and loosening and everything. All you got to do is speak it out your mouth. I bind up this enemy and bam, the, the angels just begin to bind it up and fight and, 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 and take it on to heaven. And everybody in heaven is fighting with you. So um, imagine that you're just sitting there doing nothing. Amen. Giving up. You got to pray. It just hit home to me. I had a friend, I mean, a, a dear friend, just passed away from this uh, COVID thing. That thing hit me hard. And, but I realized that uh, no matter what goes on, God is yet in control. That's right. And uh, for him, I know he was a man of God. So, like I said before, as in front of the body, present with the Lord, I rejoice that he's with the Lord. You know, yes, I will miss him. Yes. But I rejoice that he's with the Lord. But, those that are here right now, if we just hold on to God's unchanging hand, That's I mean right. tight, and come together in prayer. We don't have to be in the same uh, place. We can pray from house to house. That's right. For, on your job, it doesn't matter. Uh, and pray. Just continue to pray. God hears our prayers. And we you be unified in prayer to lift up our country, lift up our nation, lift up our president, lift up the whole the whole situation, lift up the world. Because yeah. this thing is all over the world. I love and, and we don't have to fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. We use that power in our prayer. We use that power of love in our prayer as well. We use our, that power of a sound mind in our prayer. So we just lift up our nation. We That's lift right. up this world to God. So while we pray in our home, we're asking that you pray in your home. We ask that you pray on your job, wherever you are. Just take a time, take a little time. It don't have to be nothing long. Let it be a sincere prayer to the Lord for our nation. Because right now, we need it. That's right. Amen. That's we right. We never know, you know, when God's going to call us home. That's right. But I, I want to be praying. 
Amen. on that day. I want to be singing on that day in my spirit. See, the enemy can shut your mouth, but he can't close down your spirit. He has, he don't have no control over your soul until it's given to him or, or, or released to him or whatever. Hallelujah. So you want to be praying at all times. That's why the Bible said pray without ceasing. So if you pray without ceasing, that means that when your day comes, when your number is called, you pray. Amen? Amen. And and you might just have that little time in your spirit. See, because some people are in coma, some people are sick or whatever. And then it, it's the prayers of the righteous. Also, you should be praying for other people. Amen. So if you pray without ceasing, then that means that you you praying for them if they're not able to pray for themselves. Amen. And when we after we pray, we rejoice. We rejoice. thank God. We praise God that is is so. We don't doubt. We lift our hands. We lift our mouths and praise God, saying, That's "Lord, right. I thank you for doing it." That's right. You know, uh, mm -hmm. Psalms one forty one. The theme is praise and recognize God, worshiping God. One forty four. Rejoicing in God, no matter whether it's good times or bad times. Amen. So when we pray. We get up believing that God has done that thing. We rejoice. We praise Him. We lift up our hands. We lift up our voice. Amen. We just give all glory and honor to God. We don't wait till it happens. We believe right then and there that it happens, knowing that our God is able. Amen. But we give Him praise. Yeah. We give it all to Him. Right. We don't give man nothing. We give it to God because He's the one that's going to make it happen. Amen. 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 You know, sometimes I might get on my knees and tears. But we need to get up praising. Amen. Thanking God. Amen. Amen. Because prayer should make you feel better in a way. Amen. <laughs> prayer will strengthen you. Prayer will encourage you. Uh, no matter what you're going through, prayer will strengthen you. Prayer will encourage you. I Man, I don't have some I don't have some time where I just didn't know how I was gonna get out of a situation. And uh uh matter of fact, I wasn't even saved. In some situation I was in, and but my mom was saved, uh a church and they were always praying for me. I didn't know what she told me about it. They were always praying for me because I was always in some kind of trouble. <laughs> I was always in a situation where, hey, uh, it looked like it was over for me. But uh, I believe I got through all those situations because of the power of prayer. People praying for me. Mm -hmm. So we, we can pray for others. We can intercede for others. We can stand in the gap for them like they stood in the gap for me. And because of those prayers, really, I'm here today because of several times my life could have been taken. That's right. And uh, and I know <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't a fluke, but it was a power of prayer that was lifted up to God for me. And I'm sitting here today because of those prayers. So God answers prayers. So let's all pray, lift up our, lift up our voices to the Lord, and believe that what we pray, we receive. That's right. Don't walk away down, walk away praising God. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Well, we pray that y'all enjoyed this uh, show. And we pray, Almighty God, that it be a blessing to you. Amen. And we just thank God for you. Uh, and remember last show, I told y'all that I had wrote a book. Amen. Amen. Well, here's the book. Amen. 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 The book, Proud Beyond the Chemo yes, Chair. Sir. So, um, if you would like to pick it up, you can go on Amazon. Um, just put in Prayer Beyond the Chemo Chair or uh, Barnes and Noble. Um, or you can um, order it from me. You know, you can uh, use the number that's uh, on the screen when it go off. And uh, I'll get the book to you. We'll uh, ship it right to you. Uh, whichever way you want to do it. And if you know a friend that's going through cancer or chemo or anything like that. Matter of fact, this book is good for any kind of sickness or any kind of disease. Amen. Anybody who's going through it's prayer beyond the Amen. chemo chair. But it's full of anointed prayers. Yes, so you want to go ahead and pick that up. And I will be having a book signing. Um, July 28th yes. at the Olive Branch at 2.30 if y'all want to come back. Please so we, come by. <laughs> so we thank God for you. We pray, Almighty God, that this be a blessing to you. Amen. 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 Well, see you next time on Churches United.